good help. These are is always helping me. Get, so we're at the point now, we're removing the old underlayment and the carpet. So I'm using a box cutter to get it up because it's glued in some places. And I don't like to cut it with scissors. I'm gonna cut it all the way. And then I'm just gonna roll it up and put some tape on it and I'm gonna do the entire floor like that. And then once I get all this up, the next step, we're gonna sweep it up, okay? See how it's glued in certain places? And this side is coming over to her side out here. She over there scraping. And if you're using one of these, close it up. Don't leave it laying around saying my child knew not to touch the no. knob. That's why I bought this one. I like this box cutter. Advil, A-N-V-I-L. I need a sponsorship because I'm using a lot of y'all products. And the reason I'm rolling my underlayment and old carpet, the reason I'm cutting mine up in pieces is so it won't be heavy to pick up or carry out. See? And then just put some tape on it. Now I'm gonna do the entire floor that way. Cause you just roll up the entire carpet, you gotta get everybody in the house to come and help carry it out. And everybody may not want to work on your task, what you're doing. You like these nice, neat pads, gold blasts. They're very nice. This is a $5.99. I got these at Floor and Decor. As you can see, Desa went all the way down the side and cut the carpet. She folds it over and cut it from the back because it's easier. And now she's going to roll it up so that way it's going to be nice and light. Go Desa. Go Desa. And see how she's wearing her nice knee pads to protect her knees so in the summer she won't have ugly black spots on them. That's how you do it. And see how she's holding that piece of carpet with one arm. She's able to fall on the knees. Can we do that again? Show them, look at them. We need a sponsorship. Husky, cut your carpet in small pieces and you can carry it out that way. We have all the tools we need lined up over at the fireplace. That way, when we start to work, nothing is going to be on the floor. And she's wrapping it up. There you go, d -Song. And as you see, we have ring lights set up everywhere. Because yes, we are recording. We need you all to watch, click like, comment, subscribe on this video. Some of it's glued down, and some of it's not. I stuck to the floor or whatever. We make the progress, not this side. Y'all can't stand trying to find a better song. Oh, you listen to the music. Huh? Turn the TV on on some music, you can't. After you've swept your floor very well, you want to get up these staples. So you're going to take this nice little staple remover, Don't play, baby. You want to get them up like that without any the concrete and go all the way around, get those up, sweep the floor, and you're going to be ready to put your vinyl down. Now, after you came all the way down and you got them all up and I went back to sweep it up, you're going to find a few little tacks left, stuff. But the only thing you're going to do for that is take your staple remover. And see how this little tack is right here? And see how there's going to be a few little tacks left? And you just take this and lift it up. And some of the concrete is going to break. But I bought some packs for that. And I'm going to show y'all how we're going to do that. And thank God it's on the edge of the floor. And so no one is going to be walking here on the edge of the floor anyway. So you don't have to really worry about a walk. Okay? I'm getting ready to put down this vapor. We are fentanyl basic vapor barrier. And you must put this down if you put it on cement concrete floor. So we're going to put this down and then we're going to come back. The directions say if you want additional protection, that you can put down protect plus. 
So I'm going to put this down. This is something they have also for you to put on top of here to make sure you put your floor down. And you want to do like I saw one man on one video had to take his entire floor up and put some more underlayment on. We're just going to put down everything today that we need. Sentinel Basic Vapor Burial and Sentinel Protect Plus underlayment. I like this side. You ready to roll? Y'all got to lay it back a half inch, three fourth inch from the wall. And y'all can't see it, but I'll put it in the video. I'll take it up close. There's a little seam of tape that's running all the way down on top of here because we'll be cutting, it's going to overlap. And I purchased a 300 square foot roll because my room was 304 square feet. So you think that I can just roll it out? They telling me to roll it this way. Y'all know I'm tempted to just roll it straight out and come up this whole floor without any seams in it. Because to me, that just seems like it made more sense. I don't understand why they would tell you to overlap. But I'm doing it the way they said do it. So if I mess up, warranty is going to kick in. <laughs>
Bom dia.